Okay, today we're going to be learning how to single crochet. Okay, please note that although I might sound English, I actually use American terminology when I crochet. Okay, it's just the way that I've learned to use US terms. They are slightly different. You'll find that that UK uh, patterns call one stitch one thing, US another, other countries perhaps something different again, which I'll go into on another video. Okay, um, but for now what we're going to learn is single crochet. Okay, so what we want to do is I want to do um, just a small swab that's 10 stitches wide. So what I've done is I've just chained 11 stitches. Now you might be wondering why I want to do something that's 10 stitches wide but I've got 11 chains basically because you need something called a turning chain okay so when you're doing a single crochet okay you'd start by just holding the yarn as normal and your hook okay now I turn it over and I stitch into the little humpy bits so you've got a chain on one side turn over and you've got these little humpy bits here so I put my hook underneath so that's the way around I do it okay but basically when you're doing single crochet or any stitch where you're, you're making say you're going back and forwards on a row you would always have a turning chain so for single crochet that's one chain so we don't crochet into this little one here the first one from the hook we always crochet into the second one from the hook. So you've got one there, I don't know if you can see, one there, two, we start into that. Okay, so to single crochet, I'll just tighten this up a bit. To single crochet, what you do is take your hook, you've got your chains, keep hold of that. You put your hook onto the second, second chain from the hook, swivel your hook round like so to pick up yarn pull it through the chains so you've got two on the hook like that and then swivel it around the yarn again and pull it through both the loops on your hook okay so we go on to the next one put your hook through the chain okay put the yarn swivel it around and pick up your yarn like so pull it through the chain so you've got two on your hook two stitches Pick up your yarn again, okay, and pull it through both, okay, and that is your single crochet. So, do it again. You put your yarn, your hook through the humpy bit of the the crochet chain. Pick up your yarn like so. Pull it through the chain. So you've got two stitches on the hook. Pick up your yarn again. Pull it through both. through the chain like so pick up your yarn pull it through pick up your yarn again and pull it through both so you can see that you're starting to develop these little stumpy stitches here what I'll do is I'll do some more so you can see exactly what it's going to look like and I'll do a couple of rows so you'll see how it builds up okay but you can see it's starting to to take shape okay so you put your hook through there okay pick up your yarn pull it through the chains so you've got the two there pick up your yarn again and pull it through the two okay hook through stump your bit of the chain Pick up your yarn, pull it through the chain, pick up your yarn again, pull it through the two. Okay, so put your hook through the chain, pick up your yarn, pull it through, so you've got the two there, pick it up again, pull it through the two, stitch done. Okay, so we'll just continue. So. Oh, getting a bit of a tangle, put it through there, pull through the chain so you've got the two stitches, pick up your yarn, pull it through the two. More yarn. Put your hook 
through the chain, pick up your yarn, pull it through so you've got your two, pick up your yarn, pull it through the two. Okay, put it through the chain, pull it through like that, got your two, pick up your yarn, pull it through again. Okay, now you've now got one row of Ten single crochet. Okay, so I'll just show you how you go about with your next your next row. So once you're at the end of the row, if you chain one, like we learned earlier, so just chain one stitch, turn your crochet around. Okay, so it's now the other way. And then what you'll see is once you've got a line of crochet, you'll see that you've got these little V's here. Of the row. Now they're the ones that you will now crochet into, okay, rather than the humpy bit on the back. Okay, so you'll crochet into them. So you've got your turning chain, that was the one chain that you've just done. Now you can now crochet into the end one straight away. So put your hook through under the V, pick up your yarn, pull it through so you've got the two, pull it through again. It's the first stitch done. Okay, put it under the V, pick up your yarn, pull it through, you've got the two. your hook under the V, pick up your yarn, pull it through, pick up your yarn again, pull it through the two loops. So put it through under the V, pick up your yarn, pull it through, you've got two on the hook now, pick up your yarn again, pull it through the two. Okay, this isn't the best single crochet version, it's not the tightest, but I'll just do a little bit more and you can see how it's going to turn out, okay, so, so I'm just keeping doing these stitches, okay, so just single crocheting, and what I'll do when I get to the end, I'll just chain one and I'll do another row so that you can see exactly what it looks like. This one's proving a little bit difficult to get the hook in. There we go. Okay, so I'll chain one, that's my turning chain, I'll just get a bit more yarn off there. Turn it round this way again and then I'll just go into there and I'll do a couple more so you can see what it'll look like starting to see what what the stitches will look like it will curl up a little bit like that once you've done more stitches you'll see but you can see that you've got that's uh, going to be three rows there of single crochet okay <laughs>